Okay, so we are now on the uh, area of criminology area sa, sa board exam. Of course, ito yung pinaka, sinasabi nila na pinakamahirap daw na area sa board exam. But of course, hindi naman yan mahirap class kapag na-assemblify natin. Okay? Kasi uh, ka, kapag masyadong broad yung pag-discuss, medyo mahirap tayo. So let's simplify yung mga discussion or yung mga subject in the uh, criminology area. Okay, of course, we will start with the introduction of criminology. So, ito yung pinaka-importante subject class before ka mag-take ng board exam. Of course, as a criminology student, so dapat alam na alam mo yung uh, area na to, ang subject na to. So, introduction to criminology. Uh, please make sure na nakamute yung mga microphone niyo para hindi, uh, hindi masayang or hindi makadistract sa ibang students. Of course, uh, we will uh, try to uh, explain it <clears throat> simply. Uh, of course, uh, simplified, direct to the point, para hindi kayo mahihirapan class. Of course, uh, introduction to criminology, then uh, sa theories of crimes and causation. Uh, wait lang muna, class. I-off ko muna yung ano natin, baka madista kayo. Mm -hmm. Yung... Uh, okay, sana yun. Oh, ulitin natin. Stop uh, share. Okay. okay. So, again, uh, please make sure uh, na ano. Uh, then, mamaya kapag mawala ako, so, sabihan niyo ako pa baka nawala yung, yung connection natin or nagsasalita lang ako. Wala na pala. So, ayan. Okay, so yan. Uh, okay na ba? Okay, so let's start with the uh, introduction to criminology class. Okay, next tayo. Of course, class, ang methods of answering CLA question palagi yung sinasabi sa inyo that again, read the question twice or read twice the question or five times, mas maganda. Then second, think twice. Uh, third, of course, answer once. Again, palagi yung sinasabi. Do not change or erase your answer because it will be marked wrong anyway. So that's why answer one. Then, of course, if you don't know the answer, then know how to answer, then apply the process of elimination. So yun yung methods of answering CLA question class ng Prim Coach Philippines. Okay? So yeah. Okay, alam na alam yan. Then who is who? So, of course, class, dito yung magsistart kung sino yung nakalagay dito. Then, of course, uh, please, uh, please make sure yung ating uh, tinatawag natin na comment section. Okay? So, of course, number one. Okay, who is the father of criminology class? Sino yung father of criminology on the comment section, please? Sige, who is the father of criminology? Sige, as a review. Uh, ano to? Para meron tayong interaction class uh, kahit online, di ba? Okay, who is the father of criminology? Okay, let's go back to basic talaga. Hmm. Bakit walang sumasagot? Saan na kayo? Nakatulog pa ba kayo? Nandiyan pa ba kayo, class? Or na, ano kayo? Saan, saan na kayo? Bakit walang tao? Again, who is the father of criminology? Bakit isa lang yung sumasagot? Okay, uh, na-late na siguro. Mm -hmm. Okay, of course, ang sagot niyo si Cesar Lombroso. Okay, walang ibang sagot ha. Of course, that is Cesar Lombroso. Mamaya malalaman natin kung tama yan. Uh, then, of course, i-explain natin mamaya bakit si Cesar Lombroso ang father of criminology. Of course, si Cesar Lombroso, class, wala nang iba, father of criminology. Kahit ang tanong, class, who is the father of modern criminology still? Si Cesar Lombroso pa rin ang sagot na inyo. Father of criminology, still Cesar Lombroso. Please take note of that. Okay, second naman, who is the father of modern criminology in the 20th century? Again, who is the father of modern criminology in the 20th century? Sino naman siya? Again, who is the father of modern criminology in the 20th century? 
Sino naman yun? Mm -hmm. Sino naman ang father of criminology class in the 20th century? Please answer. Bakit isa lang yung sumagot? You, are, you, are you not familiar? Or tam ay, si Tina, natin yung mga sagot ninyo. Mm -hmm. Of course, last si sino si Edwin Sutherland. Okay, of course, walang iba. This Sir Edwin Sutherland is the father of modern criminology in the twentieth century. Okay, number three, who is the father of black criminology? Naman again, sino naman ang father of black criminology? Okay, so ter dapat thirteen yung makita ng sagot yan na sa comment section kasi thirteen tayo ngayon dito na naka nakasama. Okay, who is the father of black criminology? Okay, sino? Sino yung father of black criminology class? Oh, bakit napunta si Cesar Vicaria sa Black Criminology? Hmm, na class. <laughs> bakit napunta si Cesar Vicaria sa Black Criminology? Anong nangyayari sa inyo? Ha? <laughs> hmm? Now ko lang narinig yung black criminology. Or bakit ngayon lang? Si sabi ni, uh, ni uh, Sir, uh, ni Christopher Somoso, Russell Brown. Okay, so ano yun? Oh, sino pa? Okay, so sino may uh, ano, sino yung may alam? Sino yung tinatawag natin the father of black criminology? Okay, so ano bang bakit tinawag siya na black criminology? Sino? Uh, hindi kayo familiar? Mm -hmm. So mamaya, explain natin class kung sino. Of course class, ang uh, black criminology, of course yung uh, author niyan or yung tinatawag natin na founder or the father of black criminology, of course si, okay, si uh, Russell Brown. Okay, so I, no, no, no. Si William Edward Bogart the Voice, kumbaga ang kanyang uh, shorter name or shorten name is W-E-B-D, okay? W-E-B-D, si William Edward the Voice. The voice ang pangalan niya, class. So, of course, class, pag sinabi natin uh, yung uh, tanatawag natin na black criminology, of course, it is a theory na nag explain okay, uh, of course, yung mga criminalities committed by black people or black race. So, yan yung tanatawag natin na black criminology. Um, yung iba naman, yung ibang um, in the other definition, ang black criminology, it explains yung tinatawag natin na black criminality okay yung sa mga 
mababang lipunan. Okay, but of course, class, pag sinabi ting black terminology, of course, it explains yung tanatawag natin na uh, na mga crimes committed by black race or by black people. First time yun na encounter ang black terminology class? First time yun ba? First time yun talaga? Yes, sir. Ah, patay. Okay, so of course, uh, very ano yan ah, Uh, akala ko na akala ko for a normal na sa inyo yung ganito. So medyo mahirap pala na ano. Kaya that's why uh, dapat talaga sa intra, sa criminology area dapat back to basic talaga kasi ang daming hindi nakakasagot ng student kasi ang daming hindi na discuss yung pinaka basic, di ba? So again, pag sinabi nating black uh, criminology naka-focus yan sa sa race or yung tinatawag natin na essential elements or essential variable variable to explain or yung uh, the study of crime committed by blacks or by black people. So that's why it is considered as a black criminology. Ang um, father black criminology si William Edward Bogart the Boys. Ang sa amin yan, dati nung nag-board exam ako, ang aking acronym na ginamit dyan, WEB. Uh, WEB, alam ko nang si William Edward Bogart the Boys yun. Nakuha? So yan. Then third, okay, sino naman yung mother of criminals class? Sino yung tinatawag natin na mother of criminals? I'm sure alam na alam nyo to, di ba? Okay, sino yung mother of criminals? Uh, Ada Juk, may Margaret Juk. Sino si Margaret Juk? At sino yung... <laughs> okay, class. Tanda niyo, pag sinabi natin mother of criminals, ang sagot natin dyan, si Margaret Ada Juk. Again, ang mother of all criminals, si Margaret Ada Juk. Okay, so Margaret Ada Juk lang sa ang mother of criminals. Of course, alam na alam yan. How about naman, sino yung tinatawag natin na mother of all criminals? Again, sino naman yung tinatawag natin na mother of all criminals? Sino naman yung class? Sige, on the comment section, sino naman yung mother of all criminals? O bola, lahat. Sino naman yun? Sino yung mother of all criminals? Sino? Oh, bakit naghang kayo? <laughs> Sino ang mother of all criminals? Sino? Bakit walang sumasagot? Narinig niyo ba class? Narinig niyo? Or nawala ako? Again, sino yung mother of all criminals? Ha? Huh? Batay? May. Mata. Okay. No idea. Ada joke pa din po. Patay. Hindi nyo alam? Ayan. Bakit ko graduate kayo ng criminology na hindi nyo alam to, na hindi na ituro to? Okay. Again, <laughs> batay talaga to. Okay. So, akala ko, na, akala ko ano na lang to. Normal na uh, ano, in information. So, again, tanan niyo pag sinabi natin mother... Of criminals, of course, si Margaret uh, the Joke. Ang mother of all criminals class, of all ha, tanan nyo, 
mother of all criminals. Of course, si Margaret Browns. Again, ulitin natin na, mother of criminals, si Margaret Adachuk. Ang mother of all criminals, of course, that is Margaret Browns. Nakuha? Okay, nakuha ba? Okay, sige. Uh, na na nakuha niya na class, kayo niyo nang nalaban si Margaret Browns. Baka sampalin kayo ni Margaret Browns sa boarding exam, hindi kayo hindi niyo alam. <laughs> Bakit uh, hindi na ituturo to? Na medyo delikado ah. So anong kayang nangyayari sa inyo? Nakuha na ba? Again, mother of criminals si Margaret Adachuk, mother of all criminals si Margaret Browns. Nakuha ba class? Nakuha niyo? Yes, Saan na yun sila? Bakit nawawala yung mga estudyante ko hindi, na hindi nagre-respond? Nakuha? Nakuha? Yes, sir. Okay na? Okay na? Okay, so yan. Uh, wait lang. Okay, lang natin. okay, so let's move on. Okay, next tayo. Okay, number six. Okay, sino naman yung father of modern criminology in the Philippines? Again, sino naman ang father of modern criminology in the Philippines? Okay, sino? Sino yung father of modern criminology in the Philippines? Number six. Okay, class, sino? Sino? Sino yung uh, father of modern criminology in the Philippines? Sino yon? Bakit walang response sa mga student? <laughs> Baka tulog pa kayo, ha? Again, on the comment section, sino yung father of modern criminology in the Philippines, class? Okay, so out of 15, so dapat kahit 10 lang yung makita kong sagot dyan. Then, of course, we will answer. Bakit dalawa lang yung active na nag nagko-comment ng sagot nila? Saan yung iba? Again, who is the father of modern criminology in the Philippines? Okay, so apat lang yung sudyante ko ngayon. Ha? Okay, si uh, Felix Angelo Bautista. Okay, of course, that is si uh, Felix Angelo Bautista class. Okay, so uh, of course class, kapag si, uh, wala si uh, Felix Angelo Bautista sa choices, ang isasagot yun lang ha, in case na wala siya, si uh, Ramon Bagaching na sa choices so si Ramon Bagaching class, ang isasagot niyo kasi of course sila yung author ng uh, PD-968, yung uh, Adult Probation Law in the Philippines, di ba? So that's why, kapag in case lang, uh, pero of course ang pinaka-right answer natin dyan, si uh, Felix Angelo Bautista, the uh, father of modern criminology in the Philippines. Okay, next. Okay, of course, uh, no, 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 si Chidolo si Natividad, okay, of course yung uh, pwede yung isagot rin. And of course, si Ramon Bagaching yung pinaka-list priority natin. Okay, next, uh, seven. Sino naman yung uh, nag-coin ng word na black criminology? Kasi di ba, si William Edward uh, Bogart, the voice, the father of black criminology. Kung si sino naman yung nag-coin ng black criminology class? May idea kayo? Again, sino yung nag-coin ng black criminology? Uh, meron kayong idea or wala para i-explain ko na?
Meron ba? Meron? No idea. Okay, of course, guys, ang nag-coin ng word na black criminology is si Catherine K. Russell Brown. Okay, again, ang nag-coin ng word na criminology or na black criminology ay si Catherine Russell Brown. Okay, tandaan nyo ah. Si Catherine K. Russell Brown ang nag-coin ng word na black criminology. Okay, ulitin natin. So, who is who? Ito yung mga important uh, personalities class. Then, of course, Uh, they have a uh, significant contributions in criminology profession. Okay, again, see, uh, the father of criminology, modern or father of modern criminology, still, si Cesar Lombroso, wala nang iba. The father of modern criminology in the 20th century, si Sir Edwin Sutherland. The father of black criminology, si William Edward Bogart Du Bois, number four. The mother of criminals, si Margaret Adejuk, mother of all criminals, si Margaret Browns. The father of modern criminology in the Philippines, si Felix Angelo Bautista. Kapag wala sa choices si Felix Angelo Bautista, you can answer si Dolosina Tibirad. Then of course, pwede si Ramon Bagacin o yung list or the last. Then we have the uh, who coined the, uh, the word black criminology. Of course, uh, it was coined by Catherine K. Russell Brown. Okay? So yan yung who is who. Nakuha ninyo class? May tanong ba dito sa who is who natin? Okay, kung mga bago yan sa inyo, of course, mamaya, uh, please make sure na dapat na-review na ninyo ulit yung ating uh, discussion. Nakuha na ba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, next. Dito tayo. Okay, so connect the dot naman. Okay, connect the dot. Okay, pag sinabi natin criminology class, what is criminology? Okay, sige nga. Hanapin yung choice ano dito ah ang letter sa sa kabila isa-isahin natin. Okay, dito muna tayo sa number one on the comment section para mas magdagdag ng utak niyo. Okay, pag sinabi nating criminology na nag end sa IE. Okay. So ano ibig sabihin niyan? Is that French? Is that American? Is that Italian? Again, pag sinabi nating criminology, what is criminology? Mm -hmm. What is criminology? Connect the dot. Mm -hmm. What is criminology? Say it uh, on the comment section, guys. Okay, sabi na lang French. Okay, mamaya. Okay, how about criminologia? Okay, criminologia na nag end class sa GIA. Okay, ano, ano naman yan? Is that American? Is that Italian? What is criminologia? Lahat mag-participate para maganda yung ating discussion. Okay, pag sinabi natin kriminologia, okay, so sanabi nalang Italian, okay, very good. Tingnan natin, how about pag sinabi natin criminology, okay, GY naman, class, GY. Okay, pag sinabi natin GY or criminology, what is criminology?
Mm -hmm. Okay, sagot ni uh, number three. Okay, sabi niya American. Okay, uh, okay. how about naman class craniology? Okay, how about naman craniology? Craniology. Okay, ano naman ang craniology class? Is done, bumps of the head, shape of the head, the face, uh, most ancient theory, pain and pleasure, and so on. Sige, what is your answer? Craniology. Cranio. What is craniology? Sige. Craniology class. Lahat ha, participate Okay, craniology. What is craniology? Shape of the head. Okay, very good. Okay, si uh, Kandor, sabi niya shape of the head. So, titingnan natin mamaya. Okay, how about naman class pag sinabi natin hedonism? What is hedonism? Okay, again, what is hedonism? What is hedonism? Sige. Okay, sinabi niyo or your answer to uh, pain and pleasure. Okay, tingnan natin mamaya. How about utilitarianism? Okay, how about utilitarianism? What is utilitarianism class? Hmm. Okay, how about utilitarianism? Okay, sa sagot niyo, bakit may letter F, may letter E? Okay, sa majority answer the greater good of majority. Okay, tinan natin how about number 7. Okay, pag sinama natin demonological theory, what is demonological theory class? What is demonological theory? What is that? What is the monological theory? Okay, sinabi niya, the most ancient theory. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Okay, how about physiognomy? Okay, ano naman ng physiognomy? Okay, what is physiognomy? Physiog. Mm -hmm. What is fishog class? Fishognomy. Okay, makuha mo na yung ano dun eh. Fishog or fishognomy. So what is fishognomy? Okay, sa majority of you answered uh, face. Okay, tinan natin kung tama yung face. Okay, how about naman yung tinatawag natin na phrenology? Phrenology. Phreno. What is phrenology? Okay, bombs of the head. Ang sagot nila, bombs of the head. Mm -hmm. Sure ba kayo dyan sa mga sagot ninyo? Okay, uh, tingnan natin ha, kung ilan ang scores ninyo. Tingnan ninyo kung tama yung mga sagot ninyo, class. Okay, dito. Okay, so explain natin sa kabilang ano. Okay, again, pag sinabi natin criminology, of course, class, it was uh, uh, coined by uh, French uh, Tol, Paul Papinard. While ang criminologia naman, and again, it's a GIA, or GIA, of course, uh, it was an Italian. Okay, of course, uh, it was coined by Raffaele Garofalo. 
Then, ang criminology, okay, na GY, of course, sa uh, American yan, kay uh, American Arthur and British K. Blocks, English, ang um, criminology, of course, na kaya that's why we have now a uh, criminology. Then, pag sinabi natin craniology class, that is bumps of the head, okay? Bumps of the head. Ang sagot ninyo kanina, nagkabaliktaran. Tama ba? Tama ba ako? Okay? So, ang tanda nyo lang dyan, class, ng na acronym na palagi natin ginagamit is yung term or yung acronym na CRAB. Okay, CRAB. Okay, uh, ito yon CRAB class. Ibig sabihin, yung CRA is craniology. So meaning, it is the bumps of the head. Nakuha ba? Nasundan ninyo? Nasundan ba? Again, pag sinabi natin craniology class, that is the bumps of the head or bumps of the head. So ang gamitin ninyo na acronym is the CRAB. Okay, CRAB. Craniology bumps of the head. Nasundan ba? Nakuha ninyo? Then next, uh, we have the hedonism. Of course, pag sinabi natin hedonism, so that is uh, pain and pleasure. Ibig sabihin, people, pick, uh, people uh, seek pleasure to avoid pain. Di ba? So yan yung tinatawag natin na hedonism. So ibig sabihin, always gusto nila yung uh, um reward lang palagi ni iwasan nila yung uh, yung pain na mag-cause or consequences ng action nila. Then we have the utilitarianism. Of course, alam naman natin the utilitarianism class or yung tinatawag natin na principle of utility, di ba? So pag sinabi natin utilitarianism or principle of utility, uh, ang leader or yung tao na to, ang focus niya class is the greater good of the majority. Again, the greater good Okay, the greater good of the uh, majority. Yan yung tinatawag natin na uh, 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 principle of utility or the utilitarianism. Then, uh, of course, uh, we have the demonological theory. Ang demonological theory, of course, it is the most ancient theory na meron tayo, di ba? Uh, most ancient theory. So, of course, ang demonological theory, nakafocus yan that... Um, Uh, pre-call or the person was possessed by the evil spirit. Okay, possessed by evil spirit, yung demonological theory. Then, of course, uh, or supernatural powers na tanatawag natin. Then, we have the physiognomy. Of course, that is the face. Okay, uh, then we have the uh, phrenology naman. Ang phrenology naman, the shape of the head. Okay, that's why ang ginagamit ko dito class na ano dati na acronym, okay, uh, ang ginamit ko dito dati, press. Okay, press and of course, the, uh, the crab. Okay, ito, gamitan nyo, pwede nyo itong gamitin, class, press. Ibig sabihin, ang uh, phrenology, that is the shape, okay, that is the shape of the head. While ang craniology naman, that is the bumps of the head. Okay, so craniology, that is the bumps of the head. Nakuha ba? Okay, balik muna natin. Okay, na nakuha niyo class, nakuha ba? Bakit hindi walang sumasagot talaga? Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so yan. Uh, baka natulog pa kayo diyan, magising na kayo. Kasi uh, ano, maganda yung uh, discussion natin ngayon. So yan, print screen muna natin para makita rin ng iba. Okay, so yan. So, okay na ba? Mm -hmm. So ayun, di ba? Nagkakamali kayo kasi of course wala kayong ginamit na tinatawag natin na uh, na acronym na pwedeng makapag, uh, makatulong sa inyo. Mm -hmm. Ah, na nasa work pala yung iba. So okay lang, sige. Makinig lang kayo, mabuti ah. Ang importante, wag niyo takpan yung ano niyo, yung tainga niyo <laughs> kapag nasa work kayo para ano pa rin, para marinig niyo pa rin yung audio then mamayang gabi or pag out niyo ipanoorin niyo ulit. Okay, yung discussion natin. Okay, next. Uh, we have the development of criminology class. Of course, ang development of criminology from 18th century, of course, that is the classical criminology. Of course, di ba? That is the classical criminology. On the 19th century naman, the, that's the time na meron tayong tanatawag na modern criminology. Ibig sabihin, there are, there are certain developments and progress in the study of criminology. Of criminology. That's why it is considered as a modern criminology. Then, of course, uh, during 20th century, there is an independent criminology. So, mamaya class, malalaman ninyo bakit tanawag na independent criminology 
ang criminology course we are now on the independent criminology okay so yan yung tinatawag natin na independent criminology so explain ko mamaya kung ano ibig sabihin ng independent criminology okay then of course we have the sciences that dominated the uh, criminology of course we have the uh, number one sociology Number two, we have the psychology. And number three, we have the psychiatry. So, tanda ninyo that sociology is from the word socio, which means society. And logi means study. Okay, that's why it is basically the study of uh, the society. Of course, ang society or sa community natin class, dyan yung uh, tinatawag natin, um, uh, dyan yung tinatawag natin na nag or Or sa, yun yung place kung saan uh, nangyayari ang krimen, then dyan rin babalik yung tinatawag natin na, na offender of a particular crime. Then, of course, class, ang sociology, that is the basically the study of human behavior or the mental processes of the person. Okay, that's why it is considered as the study of human behavior or the mental processes. While ang psychiatry naman, of course, it is the study of the mental illness or the mental disease of a person. So that's why hindi yan siya, um, hindi pwedeng mag-diagnose or hindi pwedeng mag-diagnose yung tinatawag natin na uh, nasa na, na psychologist. Kung meron kang mental illness or mental disease class kasi only the psychiatrist can diagnose your illness na meron kang problema sa pag-iisip or meron kang sakit sa pag-iisip mo. So again, sino yung pwedeng mag-diagnose that you have a, a mental disease or the mental illness? Only the psychiatrist can, uh, okay, can uh, of course, can diagnose your disease. Okay? Ulitin natin. Please uh, pakibasa nga ulit sino yung available. Then para i-explain ko ulit. Si uh, Hosne. Hosne, pakibasa ulit. Hmm, nandiyan ba si Hosne or wala? Ah, uh, okay. Si Lawrence na lang, Lawrence. Uh, James Lawrence. Ah, nasa work pala si Sir Hosne, sorry. Okay, uh, don't worry, sir. Okay, si Sir Lawrence nandiyan ba? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, sige. Development of technology. 18th century classical criminology. In 19th century, modern criminology. 20th century, independent criminology. Scientists that dominated criminology, sociology, psychology, psychiatry. Okay, so yan. Thank you very much. So, okay, ulitin natin class. So, again, uh, alam naman natin yung tinatawag natin na development of criminology. That's why we came up sa tinatawag natin na independent criminology. So, again, ano ba yung independent criminology? So, again, during 18th century, meron tayong tinatawag na classical criminology. Then, nasundan yung class during 19th century na nagkaroon tayo ng modern criminology wherein there are certain developments and progress in the study of criminology then. Uh, during 20th century, of course, ngayon, so we are now on independent criminology. So ano ba yung tinatawag natin na independent criminology? Of course, alam naman natin that uh, sociology is one of the science or one of the sciences that dominated the study of criminology. So ang sociology before class, that is the mother science of criminology. Kaya kapag tanong sa board exam, what is the mother science of criminology? Ang isa sa nyo is sociology. So dati, si sociology, yan yan. Okay, umbrella. Then uh, below that, nandyan yung tinatawag natin na criminology. So meaning, criminology is under the umbrella of sociology. So meaning, hindi pa siya independent. Ibig sabihin, yung mother science niya, ang sociology. So during 20th century, naging independent criminology na. Ibig sabihin, ang criminology now is an independent science. Ibig sabihin, he is no longer or it is no longer um, under the umbrella of sociology. Okay, ulitin natin. Pag sinabi natin independent criminology, tanda niyo. <clears throat> sorry. Again, pag sinabi natin independent criminology, ibig sabihin nun, that the criminology is no longer the under the umbrella of sociology. Kasi again, dati ang uh, criminology <clears throat> is under the uh, umbrella of sociology. 
uh, of course, alam naman natin that sociology is one of the sciences that dominated the study of criminology. So again, pag tinanong sa board exam, what is the mother science of criminology? Ang isasagot niya doon, that is sociology. Kasi uh, before tayo nagkaroon ng independent criminology, okay, ang criminology is under the umbrella of sociology. So during 20th century, doon nagkaroon tayo ng independent or nagkaroon tayo ng kalayaan. So we are now an independent field or we are now an independent science away from sociology. Nakuha din nyo? Nakuha ba class? Nasundan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So again, pag sinabi natin yung sociology, of course, the study of society, ang psychology naman, ibig sabihin, human behavior, ang psychiatry naman, mental illness. Of course, ang uh, psychiatrists, they are medical doctors, while psychologists, they are not medical doctors. Ang psychologist class, they cannot prescribe medication or they cannot give medicine kung meron kang mental illness or mental disease. Only the psychiatrist can uh, diagnose or can give medication uh, when it comes to mental disease or the mental illness. Okay, so yan yung trabaho ng psychologist and psychiatrist. But of course, they will work uh, together class. So hindi pwede sila, hindi yan sila pwedeng um, magkahiwalay. Pwedeng magbigay siya ng suggestion yung psychologist sa psychiatrist. Okay, so but of course, ang pinaka-expert sa dalawa are the psychiatrist or mental illness kasi expertise nila or mental disease. Sila yung magsasabi na, okay, may problema ka sa pag-iisip. Okay? Or nagpapanggap ka lang. So, alam na alam yan ng psychiatrist. Okay? So, yan. Next tayo. Okay? Pakisagot nga si... Um, hmm? uh, sino yung first? Si uh, JB Monios. JB? Yes, coach. Narinig okay, po sige. Uh, A behavior... A behavior that is outwardly manifested or the under analytical psychology introduced introduced by non swiss psychiatrist Carl Gustav Jung A overt B covert C extrovert D introvert Okay so ayan please answer class on the comment section okay a behavior that is uh, outwardly manifested or that is directly observable under analytical psychology introduced by non swiss psychiatrist Carl Gustav Jung Okay, sinabi niya, outwardly manifested. Ibig sabihin, nakikita or na-observe mo. So, what is that? What is that kind of, what is that behavior? Okay, of course, alam na alam ninyo, of course, ang sagot natin dyan, that is uh, overt. Okay, di ba sinabi niya, outwardly manifested. Ibig sabihin, na-observe mo, nakikita, or directly observable. Ayan, no? directly observable. That's why it is the covert. Okay, pag sinabi naman natin covert class, ano ibig sabihin nun? What is that kind of behavior? Nakikita ba yan or nakatago? Okay, bakit dalawa lang yung sumasagot? Okay, so of course class, pag sinabi natin covert, ibig sabihin na uh, clandestinely or hidden or uh, nakatago. Of course, that is, kaya that's why covert or hidden. 
So yan yung tinatawag natin na uh, covert. Then of course, we have the extrovert and then we have the introvert. Ang extrovert, of course, that is uh, uh, kinds of, uh, of course, where we have the extrovert, introvert. Sino ba yung introvert dito? Of course, ang introvert, ibig sabihin, um, kumbaga may sariling mundo, okay? So reserved. Uh, kumbaga nade-drain yung kanyang uh, energy kapag nag-hello bila siya sa ibang tao that is introvert while the extrovert of course alam na alam naman natin that ang extrovert is uh, they are uh, easy going they are sociable ibig sabihin nangihina sila kapag hindi sila napapalibutan ng, uh, ng, ng mga tao sa paligid nila that is extrovert then of course we have the combination of extrovert and introvert that is ambivert. Ibig sabihin, combination of two, introvert and extrovert. Ang ambivert, ibig sabihin nun, kaya niyang makipaghalubilok lang sa ibang tao, but then uh, there are certain limits lang, there are certain times okay, na uuwi siya para mag-recharge rin sa kanyang sarili. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag natin na introvert. O, na-choppy ba ako? Wait lang, iyan ako muna. I-stop uh, share, i-check natin. Okay. Uh, stop sharing mo natin. Uh -huh. Okay, so again, ang sagot natin dyan, that is overt kasi that is uh, outwardly manifested or that is directly observable. Okay, next tayo. Okay, so pakibasa nga si sino na yung sa baba natin. Si, uh, si uh, Nasim. Uh, Nandiyan ba si Nasim? Uh, okay ba yung kanyang audio? Yes po, Roach. Nandito po. Ah, sige, sige. Pakibasa. Uh the science of improving the quality life of human offspring is a genetics, B, eugenics, C, heredity, and D, inheritance. Okay, so the science of improving human or the quality of human offspring, ibig sabihin, from uh, generation to the next generation, nag improve yung kanyang offspring. Kung matalino yung generation na ngayon, mas tatalino yung sa next generation. Okay, so what is your answer, class, sa comment section? Okay, lahat sumagot tayong 18. Okay, si anong sagot niyo class? Bakit anim lang? Mm -hmm. Nine pa lang. <laughs> okay, of course, class, ang sagot natin dyan, what is your answer? Eugenics. Okay, very good. Okay, ang sagot natin, okay, that is uh, my inheritance. Ano kayo? Anak ni Henry C? <laughs> okay, mga anak ba kayo ni Henry C, class? <laughs> okay. 
So, ayan. Ang sagot natin dyan, that is eugenics. Okay? Of course, ang first natin na eliminate dyan, ang inheritance. Ang inheritance class, of course, yung imamana mo, mamanahin. Alam ba, anak ka na Henry C. Ipamana sa yung SM Malls, di ba? So, of course, hindi naman kayo anak na Henry C, no? Of course, first natin na eliminate is yung tanatawag natin na inheritance. Okay? Inheritance, that is the first to be eliminated. Okay? Inheritance class, ha? Next, of course, pag sinabi kasi natin genetics, of course, that it, it deals with heredity and variations. Okay, heredity and ver variations, guys. Uh, ibig sabihin, natatransfer yan through genes. Okay, nasasabihin, di ba sa kanila, ay, ay, matalino yung bata na to, ha? ay, nasa genes kasi nila. Okay, yung isa naman, bakit matangkad, um, ay, nasa genes nila. Or bakit ito, medyo, ano siya, medyo... Uh, medyo bobo. Okay, bobo. Medyo bobo talaga, no? <laughs> so, ay, nasa genes kasi nila. So, malalaman, di ba? It, uh, genetics, di ba? It deals with heredity and variations. So, of course, ang heredity naman, that is the transfer of qualities. Okay, the transfer of qualities through the genes. Okay, ano yung mga na, na, namamana ninyo class sa parents ninyo? So, yung mga qualities na namamana ninyo sa, sa parents ninyo na natatransfer sa mga offspring nila. Sige. Ah, kagapuhan lang daw, sabi ni James, kagapuhan lang. Yung namamana, patay naman. <laughs> Pagiging loyal daw, sabi ni, ano, ni Nasim. Pero uh, sa tingin ko, namamana talaga yun, di ba? Kung, uh, kung, uh, kung sino yung puno, siya yung bunga. Pero of course, na, na, nakadepende pa rin class. Pero uh, parang may, may point yun eh. <laughs> parang totoo, sige lang, mag-conduct tayo. Uh, kaso apat asawa pa lang ng tatay ko patay okay sa iyo na sim ilan yung ano mo ilan yung target mo ilan yung target ni na sim mga lima di ba under the uh, the muslim law you can have uh, isa lang sir okay isa lang sure ha? sure sure na yan okay di ba you can have at the more than one wives di ba as long as you can deal with them uh Oh, tatay daw ni JB Sugarol, pero hindi siya patay yan. <laughs> hindi, uh, baka yung sugal, ano yan? Ano pa? Um, ano pa yung mga qualities na matatransfer sa, kaninyo, sa, sa inyo through genes? Hmm. Uh, lima talaga yung... Uh, il ilan yung magkapatid uh, na sim? Kasi sabi mo lima yung, uh, lima yung asawa ng papa mo eh. Okay. Well, iba siguro, no? <laughs> so, again. So, again, ulitin natin, na. So, the science of improving the quality of human offspring, that is uh, what we call eugenics. And hindi inheritance, ha? Eugenics, ibig sabihin, class, every uh, generation, generation to generation, ibig sabihin, nag improve Kung matalino nga yung generation, mas matalino po yung next generation nag improve uh, from time to time or from generation to the next generation. While genetics, it deals with heredity and variations. Ang heredity naman, it is the transfer of qualities through the genes. Okay, yan yung tinatawag natin na heredity. Okay, so I'm sure, uh, I hope nakuha nyo niya. Okay. Okay, ito yung tinatawag uh, dito sa Yekabila. Okay, dito naman tayo, please, uh, after ni Sir Nasim si Nandiyan si Cantor, Cantor. O oh, hindi ba busy si Cantor? Ah. Uh, yes. Ay, sige. Thank you. It refers to an erotic sexual desire to an older person. Gerontophilia, pedophile, pedophilia, necrophilia, and in incest. Okay. So it refers to an erotic sexual desire to an older older person. Okay, of course dapat alam na alam niyo 'yan. Walang sasagot ng ano ha ng uh, tinatawag natin um...
Okay, of course, that is gerontophilia. Kasi di ba, pag sinabi natin geron, ibig sabihin, old person. Then, pag sinabi natin philia, that is love. Di ba, pedophile or pedo, ibig sabihin, child. Necrophilia naman, ibig sabihin, corpse. Then, uh, okay, guwang. Okay. Then, of course, incest. Okay, uh, of course, incest, that is the uh, sexual relation within the close blood relation or related. So, that is... Uh, the difference. Okay? So, of course, ang sagot natin dyan, that is gerontophilia. Sexual desire towards an older person. Okay, next. Okay. Uh, next tayo. Please uh, read the uh, sino ngayon? Si Chanin. Chanin? Uh, are you there, Chanin? Ah, walang mic si Chanin. Okay, next tayo. <clears throat> si uh, Che Kanoy. Ah, si Che? Nandyan ba si Che? O oh, baka busy si Che? Okay. Uh, balikan na natin na si Che, siguro. Uh, next, si, uh, si Dan. Dan? <clears throat> Available ba si Dan? Yes, sir. Ah, sige, sir Dan. A known criminologist in the 18th century who published his work entitled On Crimes and Punishment, A. Lombroso, B. Beccaria, C. Piccolo, D. Sutherland. Okay. So, yan yung uh, a known criminologist <clears throat> in the 18th century who published his work entitled On Crimes and Punishment. Okay, sino nagsulat ng libro na to, class? On Crimes and Punishment in the 18th century. Sino? Okay, bakit anim lang yung sumagot? Okay, six pa lang. Sige, paabutin natin na sampo. Then explain natin. So, of course, ang sagot natin dyan, class, si, um, hmm, that is Cesar Vicaria, that is letter B. Okay, Cesar Vicaria. Of course, si uh, Lombroso kasi, class. <clears throat> ang, uh, ano naman yung libro ni Lombroso, class? Yung uh, The Criminal in Relation to Anthropology, Jurisprudence, and Psychiatry. Okay, ano yung sinulat naman ni Lombroso, class? Any idea? <clears throat> Again, ano naman yung sinulat ni Cesar Lombroso? Kasi di ba si Cesar Bicari, ang sinulat niya is on crimes and punishment. How about naman yung kay Cesar Lombroso? Again, uh, ano naman yung sinulat ni Cesar Lombroso?
Mm -hmm. The criminal man. Okay, so ayan. Okay, very good. Okay, so ang sa <clears throat> ang kanyang uh, <clears throat> isinulat na criminal man. Okay, so yan yung tanatawag natin na book na isinulat ni Lombroso in relation to criminal anthropology, jurisprudence, and psychiatry. So uh, kapag tinanong sa board exam class, what is the uh, equivalent of criminal man in uh, Latin? Okay, in Latin. What is the equivalent of criminal man in Latin class? Ano yung equivalent niya? Yung tinatawag natin na Latin ng criminal man. So what is the equivalent of the uh, criminal man in Latin? Okay, what is the equivalent? Sige, guys. Paki-comment sa comment section natin. What is the equivalent of criminal man in Latin? Sana kayo. Okay, again, what is the equivalent of the criminal man in Latin? Kasi tananong last time, ah, or one time. So, ano yung equivalent niya, class? Okay, so any idea sa, sa lahat sa inyo dito? Ano yung equivalent ng criminal man in Latin? Uh, na naririnig ba? Naririnig yung boses ko? Pakiconfirm, ah, kung hindi na naririnig. Naririnig, sir. Okay, sige. Sige, what is the equivalent of the criminal man in Latin? Mm -hmm. May idea kayo o wala? Okay, very good. Canfor. That is Lomo Delinquente. Yan yung tanatawag natin na criminal man in Latin. Okay, so that is Lomo Delinquente. Nakuha ba? Nakuha ninyo? Nakuha class? Okay, so yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay, that is the Lomo Delinquente or the Criminal Man. Again, ang isinulat ni Cesar Vicaria on crimes and punishment. Why si Cesar Lombroso naman? That is the uh, Criminal Man or Lomo Delinquente in Latin. Of course, that is the criminal in relation to anthropology, jurisprudence, and psychiatry. Okay, so yeah. Then, of course, si Sutherland class, he is the Dean of Modern Criminology and the father of criminology class or the father of modern criminology in the 20th century. Siya yung tinatawag natin na Dean of Modern Criminology. Okay, so nakuha na. So, next tayo, please uh, read the question. Si after ni, uh, sino yung kanina? Dito naman tayo kay Sir, uh, sino si Amro din? Amro din, Ro, Roban. Parang yes, time. sir. Ay, sige, sige. First time mo ba pumasok, sir, or... Nakapasok ka na dati? Dati pa, sir. Ah, okay. Sige. Pakibasa, sir, kung okay lang. It is the conscience of man which is the unconscious part of our personality according to Simon Freud in his psychoanalytical theory of human personality. Letter A, id. Letter B, ego. Letter C, super ego. And letter D, Sutherland. Okay, sige class. So, what is your answer, class? Thank you, sir, on the comment section. Okay, tandaan nyo ha, sinabi nyo, conscience of men. Dito na kayo mag-focus on. Conscience.
Okay, so it is the conscience of man, which is the unconscious part of our personality, according to uh, Sigmund Freud, in his psychoanalytical theory of human personalities, of course, ang sagot natin dyan, that is superego. Kasi, of course, diba, we have the psychoanalytical theory. Of course, it was authored. Alam na alam naman natin, diba? It was authored by Sigmund Freud or Sigmund Freud. Okay, so, depende kung ano pong pronounce nyo. That is acceptable. Okay, then, pag sinabi natin id kasi, class, of course, that is the desire yung tinatawag din natin yan na pleasure principle. While ang uh, ego naman, of course, that is our pride. Of course, sa mga babae, di ba? Pride, okay? Yan yung tinatawag natin na reality principle. Ibig sabihin, it will serve as a mediator between the, the, the id and of course the superego. Gagawin niya ba or hindi niya gagawin, di ba? Or makikipag-connect ba siya or makikipag- um, Ayos or hindi. So that's why ang ego, yan yung pride, okay? That is the reality principle or it serves as the mediator. Then we have the superego naman. Of course, tinatawag natin na superego as the conscience of the man or yung tinatawag rin natin class na morality principle. That is morality principle. Ha? Natabunan lang ano natin. Wait lang kunin natin to. Okay, so again, pag sinabi natin, uh, super, uh, pag sinabi natin id, Of course, that is the pleasure principle, while the ego, that is the pride, that is the reality principle, or it serves as a mediator. Then, ang superego, that is the conscience of the man, or it serves as the morality principle. So, dapat alam nyo, class, yung uh, aside sa desire, aside sa pride, aside sa conscience, dapat alam nyo rin yung other uh, term okay, na ginagamit sa kung anong principle yan. Halimbawa, sa id. It is the pleasure principle that is it. It is the reality principle that is ego. That is, it is the morality principle that is the super ego. Okay, nakuha na ba? Nakuha ninyo? Nakuha na, class? Uh, nasundan? Uh, wala nang question dyan? Yes, sir. Okay, sige. Next tayo. Okay, so yun. Ganun lang kasimple, class, ang pag-explain ng ganitong mga mga topics natin. Eh, wait. Uh, medyo, ano... Hindi kasi ako comfortable kapag hindi ko nakikita yung itsura ko. Parang uh, ano yan? Parang feeling ko ano yan? Parang masyadong patay yung ano, <laughs> yung discussion natin. Okay, kaya ayan. Uh, lagyan natin ng ng konti. Ayan. Go. Okay, then of course we have the criminological school of thoughts. Okay, so let's uh, define it or let's explain it uh, in a simplified manner para mas mabilis din yung mat matandaan. Of course, uh, meron tayong tinatawag class na demonological or pre-scientific school. Of course, sinasabi dito that the person was possessed by evil spirit. Mamaya, malalaman ninyo class kung uh, sino yung mga personalities dito. So, under demonological or pre-scientific school, the person is possessed by evil spirit kaya nakagawa na siya ng kremen. Ibig sabihin, merong, uh, merong tinatawag natin na uh, supernatural powers. Uh, na nagtutulak sa tao na yon na kumuha or mag-commit ng crime. That is demonological or pre-scientific school. Then, of course, we have the classical school. Ang classical school naman, ang tandaan nyo lang dyan, is the free will doctrine. Ibig sabihin, people have the chance or the choice to choose what is right from what is wrong, okay? from, what, uh, from good, uh, from what is good, from what is bad. Okay? That is the classical school. Yeah, to go straight or to go wrong. So that is the free will doctrine na tinatawag natin. Of course, under the classical school, dalawa lang yung personalities na tanda nyo dyan, si Bebe, si uh, Bentham and Vicaria, Cesar Vicaria and uh, Jeremy Bentham. So mamaya yung uh, explain natin what is their contributions. Then, of course, we have the neoclassical school of thoughts. Ang Neo's classical school of thoughts class, sinabi niya, Neo, ibig sabihin ng Neo class, New Classical. Hindi niya naman kinontra ang sinabi ni classical. Of course, gi-extend niya lang or gi-expound uh, further ang definition ng classical. Sinabi niya, children and lunatics cannot calculate pleasure and pain. So, ibig sabihin yung mga, mga bata and lunatics, ibig sabihin may sakit sa pag-iisip. Cannot calculate pleasure and pain. So, ibig sabihin, basically, they should not be regarded as criminal. So, yan yung sinabi ni neoclassical school of thoughts. Then uh, next, we have the positivist school of thoughts. Ang positivist school of thoughts, sinabi niya, okay, ginamitan sila or they employ yung scientific research to study criminal. Again, 
the employ scientific research to study criminal. When we employed scientific research to study criminal, basically, we used or yung tanatawag natin na scientific method, di ba? So that is the uh, scientific research to explain why, bakit nangyayari yung criminality in the society. So that is the positivist school of thoughts. Then we have the Lakasan School. Ang Lakasan School of Thoughts naman class, sinabi niya that the social environment is the breeding ground of criminality. Kung saan uh, yung environment mo, kung saan ka nakatira or saan ka situated, it is the breeding ground of criminality. So uh, then of course, the germ under the Lakasan School is considered the criminal. Again, under the Lakasan School, the social environment is the breeding ground of criminality while the germ is considered as the criminal. So that is the Lakasan School. Then, of course, we have the cartographic or yung tinatawag natin yung geographic school of thoughts. It talks about naman sa tinatawag natin na climate, uh, geography, uh, altitude. Of course, we have the uh, under the cartographic or geographic school of thoughts, nandyan yung tinatawag natin na thermic law and equatorial law. So, mamaya explain ko what is the thermic law and equatorial law. Uh, of course, ang thermic law, di ba, sinasabi natin that during summer at during winter. Okay, di ba? Mostly uh, during summer, ang palaging nakumit na crime or mostly na nakumit na crime are crimes against person kasi di ba daw mainit yung pag-iisip or malat mainit yung tao na, na mainit yung ulo ng tao. That's why crimes against person. While during winter or during yung mga malimig na lugar, na lugar or na mga times, of course, that is crimes against property. Uso yung nakawan. So that is under the thermic law. Then under the equatorial law, nakalagay naman dyan, near the equator or far from the equator. Kapag uh, far from the equator, ibig sabihin yan, malamig ang lugar. So mostly mababa yung crime rate. While kapag near from the equator, ibig sabihin malapit kayo sa sun. Ibig sabihin mainit yung lugar ninyo. That's why marami or mas mataas ang crime rate na mangyayari. So that is cartographic and orthographic school of thoughts. Then we have the Chicago or yung tinatawag natin na ecological school of thoughts. Under the Chicago or ecological school of thoughts, sinabi niya naman that urbanization or migration uh, and increasing the social mobility. So ibig sabihin, yung palipat-lipat, there is no permanent address. Kapag palipat-lipat yung lugar ninyo or yung uh, bata, diba, diba? from uh, first year, from elementary, high school, lang ng college, iba-iba yung school niya. Okay, there is uh, urbanization or migration. It will increase the social mobility. So basically, magkakaroon or mag-epekto yan sa bata or baka it will prone or prone siya sa tinatawag natin na criminality or pwede maging criminal pwede maging victim sa crime. Okay, nang tinatawag natin na Chicago or ecological school of dots. Nakuha niyo class? Um nasundan niyo yung sinabi ko. Kaya pa ba ng utak? Yes, sir. Okay, so yan, 'di ba? So, inexplain ko naman ng simplified or yung uh, pinaka simple lang talaga class para mas makita niyo or mas madali ninyong maintindihan. Okay, next tayo, next line. Okay, ito yung actually class, ito yung uh, tinatawag natin na summary. Okay, balik na. <laughs> Oh, ito yung summary ha. Ito yung summary natin para mas maintindihan ninyo. Okay, dito tayo sa summary. So we have the school of thoughts in criminology. We have the personalities and of course their significant contributions in the field of criminology. So tatlo yan. So meron tayong tinatawag una na demonological or pre-scientific tool. Okay, so under the uh, under the uh, demonological or pre-scientific school. Of course, dapat alam nyo that we have si Kaen at Abel. Okay, si Kain at Abel. Of course, nasa Bible yan. So, it was possessed yung by evil spirit. Kaya pinatay niya yung kapatid niya. ba? Diba? So, that is under the demonological or pre-scientific school. Then, we have the classical school. Of course, alam naman natin si uh, Bentham and Vicaria. Nakafocus yan sa pre-will doctrine. People have the right to choose uh, the right or wrong or from the good or bad. While the new classical, or the new classical school of thought naman, of course, ang personalities na siya class, always yung tandaan si Gabriel Tarde. Of course, si Gabriel Tarde, okay, uh, ang uh, ano niya, okay, uh, si Gabriel Tarde, of course, hedonism. So pag sinabi natin hedonism, people seek pleasure to avoid pain, while ang uh, dito naman sa utilitarianism or principle of utility, Uh, the greater good of the majority. So, ang hindi niya tinitingnan, yung ilan lang. 
tinitingnan ng leader na to, yung tao na to, kung ano yung mas nakakabuti or makakabuti sa nakakarami or sa majority. So that is the utilitarianism. Then we have the positivist school. Of course, we have the uh, Lofega. Of course, sila yung tinatawag natin na Holy Tree in Criminology, si Lombroso, si uh, Ferry, and Garofalo. Okay, so Lofega. So of course, sinabi dito sa positivist school, uh, it explain yung criminality of course, scientific research to study criminal. Ang tumawag ka sa, sa Lofega or kay Lombroso, si Ferry, and Garofalo na Holy Tree of Criminology ay si Stephen Scoffer. Again, ang nagtawag sa kanila na Holy Tree of Criminology is si Stephen Scoffer. Then we have the Lacassan School. ba diba? Pag sinabi natin Lacassan School, it was, um, uh, of course, ang uh, author niyan is uh, Alexander Lacassan. Sinabi niya that social environment is the breeding ground of criminality and germ is considered as criminal. Then under cartographic or geographic school of thoughts naman, okay, so of course we have the uh, Kaiser Adolf Kittelet, ang author ng Thermic Law during summer, mostly ng crimes na mag-transpired or crimes against person, during winter, crimes against property. Then we have Guy Charles Lewis Montesquieu, of course ang kanyang uh, author is the Equatorial Law, Fire from the Equator is um, lower crime rate, near from the equator, is uh, higher crime rate kasi mainit daw kapag malapit. Then we have the Chicago or Ecological School of Thought. So of course, ang author niyan is si Robert Ezra Park and si Ernest Burgess. Sinabi niya that urbanization or migration, yung palipat-lipat, no permanent address, it will increase the social mobility to commit a crime. So that is what they call Chicago or Ecological School of Thoughts. Okay, nasundan ba rin nyo? <clears throat> nasundan nyo, class? Dito. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Okay, so yan. Tingnan natin kung hindi nyo pa ma- hindi pa yung makakasagot sa board exam. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag natin na uh, uh, the summary class in the school of those. But of course, marami pa tayong i-discuss na mga theories dito on the following uh, ano natin. Then of course, we have the theories of sociological crime. Okay, of course, we have... Uh, we have differential identification theory or DIT by uh, Daniel Glacier. Okay, sinabi niya, he identifies himself with real or imaginary persons, okay, from whose perspective his criminal behavior seems acceptable. Okay, differential identification theory. So, ano ba yung mga example niya in class? Okay, so uh, you identify yourself with real or imaginary person. Okay, ano ba? Pwede ba yung si ano? Yung sa Batang Quiapo o si Cardo Dalisay before? Okay, you, uh, you imagine yourself as Cardo Dalisay. Then nagkakumit ka ng crime. Okay, in relation to that. Okay, so feeling mo si Cardo Dalisay ka. Kaya basta-basta ka nalang nakakumit ng uh, ano. Wala kang kumaga unlimited yung buhay mo. So yan. Well, you identify yourself as someone or real or imaginary person. Okay? So that is differential identification theory by Daniel Glacier. Okay? So yan. Okay. Next tayo. Then we have the imitation suggestion theory by Gabriel Tarde. Okay? So namin yan, delinquency and crime pattern are learned and adapted. Okay? Learned and adapted class. Natutunan at na-adapt. The, uh, the learning process may either be conscious type copying or unconscious type copying of confronting pattern of behavior. Imitation suggestion theory. Kaya dapat, that's why, di ba, kapag may ginawa kayong um, kababalaghan or dapat hindi yan makita ng mga bata, di ba? Kasi di ba, they will, uh, uh, kasi baka i-copy nila okay, consciously or uh, unconsciously, hindi na namalaya, nakakopy na pala nila yung adult. So, uh, di ba, hindi advisable na um, kung ano yung ginagawa nyo, dapat hindi rin ito. Of course, yan yung imitation or suggestion theory na i-imitate class. Kung ano man yung mga behavior, kasi natutunan nila yan. So, ibig sabihin, uh, hindi magkalayo na imitate nila yan. Gagayahin nila yan kahit hindi maganda or that is uh, against or uh, that is against the law. Okay, yan yung tinatawag na imitation or suggestion theory. Okay, so yan, by Gabriel Tarde. Then uh, we have the differential Susila organization theory. Yan yung tanatawag rin natin na social disorganization theory. In the social disorganization theory class, yung mga breakdown, changes, 
uh, conflict of values between the new and the old. Ibig sabihin, there is a disorganization. Ibig sabihin kung ano, there are con uh, conflicting parties kung ano yung susundin, yung makabago ba or yung hindi. So social disorganization theory in the society. Then we have the conflict of culture theory by Thorstein Selin. Ang conflict of culture theory class, of course, nakafocus yan sa multiplicity of conflicting culture is the principal source of social disorganization. Conflicting culture, di ba? Halimbawa sa Pilipinas, uh, we, we, don't, uh, we have different cultures um, and traditions. Yung, of course, that's why... Uh, yung social disorganization, yung pagkawatak-wata, okay, hindi kasi narespeta ng isa, yung uh, opinion ng isa, that's why there are, there are changes talaga when it comes sa uh, uh, social disorganization. Hindi, um, anong tawag natin doon? Hindi siya, hindi, wala yung, walang, organisa, walang organization ba, or walang unity within our, uh, with our, within our community kasi, of course, there is a, uh, uh, division or uh, deceiveness or yung tinatawa na din okay, under the culture context. Okay, the high crime and delinquency rates of a certain ethnic or racial group is explained by their exposure to diverse and integrated standards and codes of larger society. Kaya di ba yung ibang um, member or racial group, ba yung ethnic group dito sa Pilipinas, so kapag malayo sila sa kabihas ng glass, kapag lalabas na sila sa Halimbawa, sa bundok, sila nanirahan, malayo sa kabihasnan, sa sibilisasyon. Kapag lalabas na sila, ibig sabihin, of course, meron silang uh, may experience na pangungutsa, di ba? Uh, kahit aminin man natin o hindi. Of course, present talaga yan. Kapag uh, they will be exposed or uh, makipag-socialize na sila on a larger scope or a larger society. That's why there is a conflict of culture theory. Uh, pwede kasi nasanay siya doon sa hindi siya nasanay sa ano there are standards or rules na kapag pupunta siya sa city or pupunta siya sa uh, may expose siya doon okay, sa, pupunta sa city doon of course there are standards na dapat nyo sundin doon so ibig sabihin uh, may malaki, marami talagang problema na mag ano dyan mag-appear mag kasi there, there are uh, there are certain natawag natin, there are certain exposure and standards of a larger society na dapat makikope up rin sila dito. Okay, so yan. Yan yung conflict of culture theory. Then we have the containment theory by reckless. Okay, so inability of the group to contain the behavior of its members and that uh, effective containment of the individual into the value system and uh, structure of society of which the crime occurs. So ayan, I mean ability of group to contain the behavior of its member. So yan, ibig sabihin hindi na lang control yung haliba member ng ethnic group or member ng uh, group hindi na lang contain so that's why it is the containment theory. So dapat kapag every group, so dapat meron silang leader or meron silang nerespeto para in case ng mga problema. Of course, uh, they will stick to their value okay? uh, or the structure of their society. Containment theory by a reckless. Of course, ito yung mga, mga reasons less or ito yung mga factors. Theory lang naman ito. Ah. Theory, ibig sabihin, hindi ito pwedeng i-practice. Pwedeng ganito yung reason, pwedeng ganyan, pwedeng hindi. Okay? So, ito yung basis lang natin. Okay? Pakibasa nga ulit si um, uh, Rafael Leo. Uh, wala ba si Rafael? Okay, dito tayo kay Christopher Somoso. Christopher Somoso. Uh, nandiyan ba si Christopher Somoso? Wala? Mm -hmm. Okay, dito tayo sa kabila. Maghanap tayo ng bagbabasa ulit para mas mag-appear uh, sa inyo or mag-retain. Uh -huh. Ay, nagluluto. Uh, nagluluto pala siya. Okay, don't worry class. Uh, ano na lang to. Um, two slides, then mag, uh, mag, ano, mag lunch muna tayo. Okay, si Hana Binuya. Hana? Yes, sir. Okay, sige. Sir, social po ba yun or susila talaga? Susila, susila. 
differential social organization theory, aka social disorganizations, break down changes, conflict of values between the new and the old. Next is conflict of culture theory by Thorstein Selin. Multiplicity of conflicting theory. A culture is the principal source of social disorganization. The high crime and delinquency rates of certain certain ethnic or racial group is explained by their exposure to diverse and incongru incongru incongruent standards and codes of larger society. Containment theory by reckless inability of the group to contain the behavior of its member and the and that of effectivity containment of the individual into the value system and structure of society will minimize crime. Okay. So, yeah. So, differential socila or uh, tanatawag na natin na social disorganization or differential social, dis, uh, differential social organization theory. Okay. So, yan. Meron talagang socila class uh, that is the other term for social uh, organization theory. Okay. Kaya... Yan. Then, conflict of culture theory and containment theory. Okay, next. Kaya that's why very important na alam nyo yung other term ng mga, mga theory na to. Then, of course, we have the other important theories na i-discuss natin dito. Okay, of course, so we have the anomy theory. So, ang anomy theory, of course, uh, present yung tinatawag natin na normlessness, ibig sabihin, Ah, uh, it is a norm. Ibig sabihin nakasanayan class. Okay, that is the breakdown of social norms when the personal goals can be achieved by using available means. Of course, it was authored by David Emily Durkheim. Okay, yung uh, anime theory. So, halimbawa, gusto mo maging doktor pero ang kaya lang ng parents mo na uh, naigastos or yung kaya lang nila is uh, criminology lang yung yung situation, di ba? Of course, kapag wag ni doctor ka class, uh, isang sako ng pera yung kailangan niyo. So, of course, ang anime theory, okay, when the breakdown of social norms, when a personal goals cannot be achieved by using available means, uh, ibig sabihin, magre-resort siya, mag ng crime, okay, mag-i-engage uh, yung sarili niya sa uh, immoral activities. That's why it is an anime theory. Then we have the strain theory. Pag sinabi natin strain theory, ibig sabihin, class, uh, ibig sabihin, there is a stress, uh, there is a frustration, uh, anger, and pressure. Okay? So, yan yung tanatawag natin na strain theory. Kaya that's why nagkakamit siya ng crime. There is a pressure na present, anger, or pressure. Sino naman, class, ang author ng tinatawag natin na strain theory? What is RM? Sino yung author ng tinatawag natin na strain theory? Okay, so ang uh, author ng strain theory, si Robert Merton. Very good, Gwyneth and Dan. Okay, si uh, Robert Merton, siya yung uh, author ng tinatawag na rin na strain theory. Then we have the dot, or yung tinatawag na rin ng differential association theory. Okay, the dot is the differential association theory. Sinabi dyan that criminal behavior is learned through association with other person in the community. Ibig sabihin, sa pakikipaghalupin ng maklas sa mga tao sa community, of course, uh, it will um, increase. Okay? So, ma-adapt ma mo or matututunan mo yung hindi mo dapat na ma matutunan. Okay? So, that is differential association uh, theory. Okay? So, yan yung tinatawag natin na that. Okay? So, sino naman yung uh, author class ng differential association theory? Sino si ES? Okay, sino yung uh, author ng differential association theory? Okay, very good. So, first, that is Edwin Sutherland. Okay, so Edwin Sutherland. Okay, so yan. Okay, so that is Edwin Sutherland. Okay, next tayo. 
Okay, we have the differential identification theory. Okay, what is identi uh, we have the differential identification theory. Sino naman to? Okay, so sino naman yung author ng differential identification theory class? Sino si GT? Okay, sinabi niya, you identify yourself like someone else. Di ba? You identify yourself like Batman, Superman. Okay, so of course, class, si Gabriel Tarde. Okay, si Gabriel Tarde. Okay, so yan. Uh, huh. So Gabriel Tarde. So you identify yourself like someone else. So it's si Gabriel Tarde. Next, we have the uh, differential opportunity theory. Okay, so sino naman class ang pag sinabi nating differential opportunity theory? Ibig sabihin, uh, society leads lower class. Ibig sabihin yung uh, opportunity class between sa mataas na lipunan or sa mga mayayaman. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag natin na differential opportunity theory. Okay. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag natin na differential opportunity theory or DOD. Society leads lower class. Okay, so loin, all in, ibig sabihin, hindi pantay yung opportunity sa lahat. That's why uh, yan yung tinatawag natin na differential opportunity theory. Okay, then we have the rational choice theory. Of course, ang rational choice theory, there are choices between uh, deviant result or the calculation of risk and awards. Ibig sabihin, uh, of course, di ba class, kapag every decision natin, meron talagang... Uh, Magandang epekto yan at negative effect. So, calculation of risk and awards. Halimbawa, magpapakasal ba ako or magte-take ng board exam? So, yan. Calculation of risk and awards. So, sino naman yung author class ng rational choice theory? Sino yung uh, tanatawag na 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 CB? Uh, CB. Okay, sino si CB? Mm -hmm. Sino si CB class? Okay, so what is CB? Bakit wala sumasagot? Baka nakakain, kumakain na kayo dyan ha. Okay, sino si CB? Hmm. Sana kayo class, sana. Bakit wala na? No idea. What is CB? Ang author ng rational choice theory. Oh, sinabi niya that the answer is salt or calculation of risk and rewards. Okay. Bakit walang sagot? Again, what is rational choice? Okay. Si Cesar Bicaria. Okay. So, uh, 
Nilagay ko lang ng CBN class kasi pag nilagay yung Cesar Vicario, walang walang challenge. Mas maganda yung uh, ano yun, nakalagay dyan, Cesar Vicario. Okay, Cesar Vicario. So, yan. Uh, calculation of the deviance result or calculation of risk and award. Cesar Vicario. Okay, next. Okay, so we have the imitation and suggestion theory. Okay, sa imitation and suggestion theory, that is the duplication or you identify himself with real or imaginary person. We already discussed that kanina. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag natin, imitation or rejection theory. Then we have the labeling theory. Okay, ano naman yung tinatawag natin na labeling theory? Ang labeling theory class, the offenders uh, given a negative uh, label throughout their life. Ibig sabihin, it follows them throughout... Uh, throughout the life. So, ibig sabihin, kapag uh, pamilyang magdanakaw sila, ibig sabihin, class, dadalhin nila yan until the next generation. Okay? So, yan yung negative label throughout their life. Mga ano, kaya pagbibigyan sila na negative label, negative lang label ha, hindi positive. So, it will follow them, class, throughout their life. So, sino naman yung author ng labeling theory? So, HB. Sino si HB? Okay, sino si HB? Mm -hmm. Sino na yun? Sino ngayon si HB? Okay, sino yan? Okay, si, sino si Heward? <laughs> sino si Heward Beaker? <laughs> okay, that is Howard Beaker. Okay, very good. Baka nagkamali lang type si Raphael. Okay, of course, class, si uh, Howard Beaker. Siya yung tanatawag na pa. Okay, so, kaya pala akala ko, sino si Heward Beaker? Okay, so, Heward Beaker, class. Okay, so, the offender was labeled or is given a negative label, class. It will follow them throughout their life. Habang may buhay, yun yung dadalhin nila na label. Alam ba, pamilyang magnanakaw, mga sinungaling. So, yun yung kanilang label cloud uh, class throughout their lives. Okay, that is Howard Becker. Okay, next. Uh, we have the subculture theory. Ang subculture theory, ibig sabihin, there is a conforming uh, values and norms of the subculture to which they belong. Okay, subculture theory we sabihin na um, ano na sila, contented na lang sila sa the values and norms of, sub, of the subculture to which they belong. So, ibig sabihin, kung hindi nila kaya, okay, tatanggapin na lang sila na ganun talaga yung buhay. Okay? So, yan yung tinatawag na ganun, subculture theory. Okay? Yan. Next, uh, of course, we have the feminist theory. Ang um, sa feminist theory class, it defines yung criminology and criminal justice uh, view on in the worlds are perceived by women. Ibig sabihin, uh, kung ano yung pag-define ng uh, criminology and C C uh, CGS sa perspective ng women, so that is the feminist theory. Then, uh, of course, we have the drift theory. People can drift or float back and forth between obeying the law or breaking the law. So, sorry. Okay, basically, my choice siya or my chance siya to obey the law or to break the law. So, kaya that's why nagkaroon tayo ng drift theory. Pwede siya mag float back and forth. Okay, then of course, we have the green criminology. Of course, ang green criminology class, it is the study of harms and crimes against the environment. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng green criminology. Then, we have the environmental criminology. Ang environmental criminology, of course, nakapokus yan sa, sa study. Okay, of course, we have the environmental criminologist. Then we have the crime prevention through environmental design or the uh, CIPTED na tinatawag natin. Of course, si Clarence Ray ang nag-focus dyan or ang nag-introduce dyan. Ang crime prevention through environmental design class, halimbawa, yung bahay ninyo malapit sa street or malapit sa highway, so dapat lagyan yan ng uh, backhoe or taniman ng malalaking puno para in case mawalan 
ng preno yung mga sasakyan class hindi agad-agad didiretso sa bahay ninyo. So yan yung sinabi ni Clarence Ray, crime detection or crime prevention through environmental design or tinatawag natin na CIPTED. Okay? So yan. Then of course, we have the broken windows theory. Ang broken windows theory, there is a zero tolerance or there are visible signs of crime. Salimbawa, babae ka, tapos mag-isa ka lang sa bahay niyo na naiwan, inopen mo yung mga door, inopen mo ba yung mga yeah, inopen mo yung mga window. So big sabihin, nag-aattract ka ngayon class ng criminal or nag-aattract ka ngayon ng offender. So that is the broken window theory. There is a zero tolerance or there are visible crimes, very obvious na merong signs or visible signs of crimes na papasok. So pero ikaw, naging comfortable ka. So of course it was introduced by James Q. Wilson and George Keeling. Okay? So yan yung tinatawag natin na na broken windows theory. Okay? Diyan muna tayo mag-end class sa broken windows theory. Mamaya, titingnan ko ha kung baka 2 p.m. tayo mag-start, mag-chat uh, tayo. Mag-chat lang ako ulit sa ating GC. Same same link pa rin class yung ating discussion mamaya. Okay? Sa afternoon session. Pero baka mga 2 p.m. Kasi parang uh, masarap matulog kasi yung mga 1. No? <laughs> so para maka mo muna kayo. Okay? So thank you for joining. So dapat wala mag-absent mamaya. Same ano pa rin. Kahit sa work kayo class, i-play nyo lang para narinig nyo yung discussion ko tapos i-play nyo ulit yung video sa recording. Okay? So thank you uh, everyone for joining our discussion uh, the, today. Okay? Then mamaya, uh, balik tayo mamaya. Uh, i-stop uh, ano ko